what's going on guys this is young lee jr so you have tiffany haddish and Aries spears uh they in the news uh, for something negative right now uh they've been accused for this child molestation that went back when it was making a comedy sketch allegedly back in 2013 and 2014. now tiffany haddish said um you know she's been they're being sued um with this lawsuit here uh, from a 22 year old woman now at the time she was 14 years old so they names remain anonymous jane doe and john doe she said that they was forced to perform sexual acts um during these skits when they were you know adolescents she was 14 her brother was seven and you know they had a she was friends with her mother and things of that nature and this is when you know before she went on the girls trip and every spirit's been in uh, he's been in comedy for like 25 plus years, you know, Mad TV. I mean, he's out there. I mean, sometimes he do like stand up specials and he's really, really funny, man. Been on Vlad TV a lot, uh, telling a lot of jokes. But, you know, the thing is, too, I had a, when I was thinking about this, remember when Aerie Spears was actually, uh, he was still trending right now, but he made comments uh, about uh, Lizzo and people believe it was fat shaming. And he was talking about she like uh, <laughs> the crap emoji and she like a, a plate full of mashed potatoes. And the reason why he was saying, that is because that she doesn't really take too much accountability uh, of her weight you know uh, he looking at from a health standpoint like listen hey you may be you know you look beautiful and all that stuff and you know you probably got money you probably make decent music but he was just saying at the point that when and in that Lakers game when you were shaking your whole butt your whole butt is all out and I remember that it happened a few years ago and you know in front of an NBA game the Lakers game where a lot of women and children men are watching I mean, and then it's like you have no accountability for yourself. Like, that is disgusting. You're a public figure. And he makes jokes for a living. He said, of course, I can't ignore that. Even regular folks don't even ignore that. I have to say something about that with my platform. And, you know, this this is coming up. So when I was reading and doing some further research, I'm like, okay, why is this have this some connection with Aerie Spears, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day? Now, they said that uh, they were still philato, some... Uh, it was a screen it was something that was watching on television where you have a college age woman and man and they were um eating a sandwich and they was making sexual noises and he wanted them the kids to do that and implement that you know what they say on the screen so um you know i think you know when uh when the boy did that at the time he felt very uncomfortable he called his mother and now all of a sudden we're hearing about this if, they wanted like i think a fifteen thousand dollar lawsuit but he ended up paying them a hundred dollars for that during that time when they filmed it in 2014 allegedly and i'm thinking like okay why are they i don't know if this is true or not you know i'm still gonna keep my eye open on this but i'm just thinking that maybe you know the powers that be because every spirit had said some negative things about lizzo fat shaming her um and you know embarrassing her and all this stuff and all of a sudden we're gonna just come up with these lawsuits and try to destroy their character destroy their name and see how he likes it but i don't know man try to shut him down but this is this is really weird um especially with the tiffany haddish thing too i mean even though they have like a previous relationship here but if i get more information we'll see how this goes but tiffany haddish attorney uh, andrew riddler said this is like you know frivolous or lawsuit acts um this is not real i'm mean, all this is just an extortion attempt you know assassinate her career because you know she's been in a lot of movies with kevin hart <laughs> i mean you know she's really climbing up there now i won't say she's actually as talented as Aerie spirits and these stand-up comedians but she's she's okay on, in film but man we got to see man because she maybe she a public figure and all this stuff hey we just gonna go go up here with these lawsuits all of a sudden these lawsuits are coming up when these uh comedians are trending it is what it is man but it, i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it open i just want to see what you guys just think about this man i mean you guys will get information you know uh, from tmz uh, it's just a little bit limited but <sighs> i don't know if this lawsuit is going to be very successful even if it does i mean it's probably going to really damage the character well we have to really see so it's all allegedly we don't know the innocents are proven guilty but um yeah that's all we have to say you guys continue to like comment subscribe share this video and i think one other thing it was like a I want to say, uh, I believe it was a, I think it was another film company. I think that was denying that, saying we would never produce any type of content like this. So <laughs> it's interesting. But man, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Tell me what you guys think, man. I really appreciate you guys for the support. Please share this video. Let's have a discussion in the comment section. Love you guys. I'm out. Deuces.